Mr. Investalot, welcome back to the channel, baby. I have a banger of a video for you today. We'll be celebrating like it's the 4th of July, baby. So today we're going to be talking about the ticker symbol NNDM. This is Nano Dimension Stock. This is a company that 3D prints high-performance electrical components and devices. Originally, they're known for being a 3D printed company for PCBs, printed circuit boards. But these guys can be utilized by many different industries. But today, I want to talk about an Italian startup that they're working with that is going to disrupt the healthcare industry. I also want to talk about some of their partners and what they're currently working on. This includes defense. And these defense contractors, these defense partners are making billions of dollars. So we'll be looking at the latest contracts that they have, some of these defense partners. We will also talk about Kathy Woods, baby. Oh, she just started buy in more nano dimension but before we get into all of that i just want to tell you it's my birthday baby i'm getting old and gold if you enjoy videos like this please support the channel click above my head it's only 99p or if you'd like to donate so i can get my hands on some blueberry pie there's a paypal link in my description box below any donations is appreciated and thank you to everybody that donates as well and supports my channel i really appreciate you guys and i love you guys but if you're unable to just you hitting the like and clicking subscribe is enough for me drop me some comments because i want to know your thoughts and feelings on nano dimension and i'm going to show you my perspective and my insight into the healthcare world and where i think nano dimension and this italian startup can disrupt the healthcare industry always remember none of this is financial advice it's for entertainment only and i hope you find this entertaining and valuable so first things first we have a business venture with a company called hensalt and hensalt claim to be high-tech pioneers with a passion for sensor solutions these guys are currently killing it they've got a backlogged order of more than 5 billion euros and these guys keep getting project after project remember that billion dollar contract pegasus reconnaissance system that i covered they were awarded this billion dollar contract by the german federal office so nano dimension has been talking about sensors and talking about an acquisition that would actually give them greater access to this kind of technology but what's really nice to see is they created this platform alongside hensold and this is the first community platform for enthusiasts of 3d printed electronics by creating this community they can get some of the biggest players in the game to join the platform they can let them try out nano dimensions dragonfly try out the tech baby and these two together are planning to take the market by storm to get everybody together within the community trying out the technology and working towards innovation this is a the beginning of a long friendship. Did somebody say bromance? So since UF Stern and Hensolt has shook hands, what have they been up to, Hensolt? So in July the 1st, 2021, they already started working on these binocular night vision goggles for the Belgian defense and German army. The phase one of this project alone will amount to high two-digit million euro value. How's their other projects going? Well, August 26, 2021, they are supporting Frontex Maritime Surveillance Project. They're going to be working on deploying this electro-optical infrared camera august 24th two days before they won a contract to equip german fry gates with new radars this is actually to work on defense against missiles apparently henso is also working with the european space agency on a mission to jupiter and the projects keep coming all of this has just happened in august not only that but they've declared 10 percent more revenue in the quarter they've got order backlog of over 5 billion euros so if these guys are constantly at the top of their game they're winning these contracts they're making shmoney and they think nano dimension is onto something with the technology what will they be producing in the future will they be using nano dimensions tech in the future well you're going to hear it from hensalt themselves listen to the man we are a defense electronics company sure. finally and but strategically speaking we saw your technology and say we need to be in that yeah because it could change also our entire market yeah our customers are looking for smaller lead times yeah you know hensalt saw it and they said we need that so enough about Hensold, let's talk about L3 Harris. They've got so many different products and if we take a look and we scrolly scrolly, you'll be able to see $18 billion in annual revenue, 47,000 plus employees and these guys just win so many contracts from radars. You can see here the first responder, emergency responder radio. They also win training contracts for pilot training agreements. These guys are constantly winning awards. You can see below me here this press release showing that the Department of Defense has awarded them and recognized them with the highest industrial security practices awards and this is for 17 years in a row so year after year they are winning so let's see how much some of these contracts are worth baby well when they were first creating prototypes they actually got a full contract now a full rate production order and this is from the u.s marine corps this was really recent this was the 19th of august 2021 and this contract the marine corps gave them was actually to equip the u.s military with this l3 harris uh, radio and in 2018 this five-year contract was worth 130 million dollars they also won a 96 million dollar camera 
color contract they look like little webcams baby they call them the webcam and what's this got to do with nano dimension l3 harris and nano dimension are partnered and in march they 3d printed some components that they're experimenting on they want to see if they can handle the harsh terrain of space they sent this up to the u.s international space station so actually this experiment was funded by space florida and it was actually sent up to the international space station for about six months before they bring it back down to earth the international space station baby working with nasa so when we look at l3 harris and we're looking at henso Let's also take a look at the Department of Defense. So back in 2019, when Nano Dimension became a certified US Department of Defense vendor, I wanted to look at 2021 and see what the Department of Defense was doing for their additive manufacturing strategy. I wanted to see what they were doing in terms of electronics, because you know we're doing 3D printed electronics with Nano Dimension. And here we can see that they plan to modernize their national defense systems. They said that additive manufacturing is a powerful tool to build a more lethal joint force. With the innovative designs that you can create with additive manufacturing, they said that the performance of systems can be improved by integrating printed material into or onto other components for sensors and electronic components. So with additive manufacturing, what do they want? What's their primary concern? What do they need? Additive manufacturing supports rapid design and prototype cycles. What can this do? This can significantly reduce production timelines and increase speed to the warfighter for new systems. So not only is this going to help the Department of Defense work on innovation and capability for their armies, but it's also going to save them a hell of a lot of money in maintenance. So we can see here, this is dollars in millions. So this is by the army. It cost them $77.4 billion. Also in their budget, they wanted to increase their budget for electronics communications. And this is across all platforms as well. It's not just for the army, but it's included with the Navy, with the Marine Corps, with the Air Force. They're constantly spending money on electronics and communication systems. And we can see here organically they're spending. This one's just for the army. It's $466 million. That's organically for electronics and communication systems systems whereas there's another 541 million dollars there are other contracts when talking about nano dimension i found this article as well from 3d printing industry they titled the article nano dimension set to lead 3d printed electronics market with additive manufacturing electronics technology so how much is this all worth well buddy according to global market insights the printed circuit board market alone is set to surpass 75 billion dollars by 2027 before that was the main squeeze of nano dimension they were known as the printed circuit board company but the analysts over at arc and kathy woods have stated this back in march kathy woods was sharing her insight into nano dimension and stated that originally it used to call itself a 3d printed circuit board company now nano dimension has broadened the view of itself into a 3d printed technology device company and here's where the research gets deep so nano dimension is currently working with massimo de vittorio this guy is from italy and here you can see he's been the consultant of high-tech corporations and a founder and advisor of four startup companies this guy focuses on nanotechnologies for electronics and electronic and photonic devices he's been an lecturer for many years and when going on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, I tried to contact him to find out what he knows about the industry and what he's currently working on. So I remember him presenting on the Additive Manufacturing Academy and what he said was absolutely fascinating. So these guys were working on a piezo electric sensor. And when looking at Massimo Di Vittorio's LinkedIn, I looked at his activity and I found Massimo Di Vittorio likes this. This is another Massimo, Massimo Morelio. And this guy has been releasing studies and articles. Both of them have been releasing it on nanotechnology. Part of this publication you can see here, Massimo Di Vittorio. They were looking at piezo electric sensors as a non-invasive approach for swallowing disorder assessment. This is a big problem that we face in the hospital. It's a common symptom of large number of diseases and can lead to severe deterioration of the patient's quality of life but the biggest part the most bullish i am about this piezoelectric smart patch is what it can actually do in terms of health monitoring so this article released in january 2021 was talking about what they're doing over in china these were some of the researchers that were coming out of hong kong and these piezoelectric innovations could be used for health monitoring so why is this so important well for those of you that don't know me i'm actually a final year student nurse i'm buff and i'm currently on placement at a hospital right now and this is why I think Nano Dimension could be part of healthcare disruption. And why they're working with this Italian startup, with Dr. Massimo Di Vittorio, on these wearable piezoelectric sensor technologies for health monitoring. Okay guys, so here's the problem. So right now, I look after critically ill patients. Some of these have multiple organ failure. They rely on organ support. Some of these guys are on ventilators. These ventilating machines are designed to help them breathe. It's artificial breaths giving you that... <sighs> 
There are also machines that help filter their blood and this is because their kidneys aren't working and all of these on my left side here there's a whole load of drugs. This helps to sedate them, this helps for pain relief and also drugs that help boost their blood pressure when their blood pressure gets too low. So the idea of it is to try and keep them stable we hook them up to all of these machines and we insert a monitoring system this is into one of their arteries the arterial line and what we're trying to get here on this monitor is we're trying to get their mean arterial pressure. So with the mean arterial pressure we want to see how much perfusion there is to their body we want to make sure they're getting enough oxygen around their body we also monitor all these other vital signs and the problem is some of our patients have had trauma happen to them maybe they've been in car accidents maybe it's been a stabbing or a shooting maybe they're confused and unwell but some of these patients actually pull out this arterial line so the problem is we need to make sure they're stable we need to monitor all of this but it's uncomfortable for a patient who is confused to have arterial lines in they're in pain they're disorientated so they usually pull some of them out but if dr massimo if he is able to with nano dimensions technology 3D print these wearable piezoelectric sensor technologies to monitor health if they're able to look at blood pressure if they're able to see the heart rate and one of the things that he's working on as well is actually looking at the pH as well pH sensors of the blood because when your blood is too acidic it can damage your organs as we can see here both Massimo's Massimo Morelio and Massimo De Vittorio are also working on these pH sensors the big boy one I see here that they're also working on is glucose electrochemical sensors they've stated that they're aiming to create a reliable glucose biosensor so if this is non-invasive if it's just like a sticker your patient won't even notice it if you're able to put it on different parts of their body you will be able to constantly monitor their glucose levels this will help so many people around the world especially those with diabetes if they're able to do that with nano dimensions technology and nano dimension supplies the machine but we're making money from the ink can you imagine if they're printing out loads of these piezoelectric sensors like little sticker tabs for all the patients around the world you will no longer need to keep a saturation probe on the finger of a confused patient you won't need to prick your patient's fingers to read their blood sugar levels if they can successfully do this you will not even need a blood pressure cuff to put on your patient and all these vital signs that you need to monitor we will not even need to take blood from our patients to run this machine called an arterial blood gas machine where you want to know the ph you want to know how much bicarbonate you want to know how acidic the blood is if you could do that through a sensor just placed on the skin this will be so disruptive for healthcare now before we finish i want to show you arc invest they've actually started buying for their arc portfolio again they now have over i think it's 18 million shares in nano dimension and at this current price it's like just over six dollars it's like six dollars ten cents they've now started to buy more and accumulate could this be about waiting in their portfolio it's now 1.67 percent of their arc portfolio could it be on release of the nanotechnology from nano fibrica and the press release of them unveiling the fabrica 2.0 system at 2021 rapid and tct event and with the Fabrica 2.0, with this machine yet again, will they be looking to make numerous medical components such as micro valves, micro syringes and surgical devices? By the way, if you want to track all of ARK Invest's kind of purchasing on a daily basis and just kind of make sense of all of the data, I use this website called Lucid Tracking and the link is in my description box down below. They also have some really cool features. You can see here it's summarized where you can look at short squeezes, uptrend potential. They've also got this meme stock page where you can look at the meme stocks and you can see uh, their lucid tracking score so they give a score and a social score so they crawl the web they grab all of the social information and they look at also the short interest and the short interest shares they collect all this information together and they show you what they think is going to pop off next as we can see here amc we've got clove in there gme even a little bit of baba and palantir in terms of nano dimension this is an article from nasdaq.com released four days ago and they were stating given the company's cash position of approximately 1.4 billion dollars they calculated that nano dimension has a cash runway of about 70 quarters or about 17 years and there's a lot of people who are currently chasing there's a lot of competitors within the industry they say that nano dimension is the market leader in ame at the moment and with 3d printing in its infancy could we be seeing a home run stock here with nano dimension arc invest certainly believes so they say that it has potential the 3d printing market to grow to 120 billion dollars as an industry by 2025 so just remember nano dimension was below two dollars back in september 20 2020 it shot up nearly 10x from there when it reached approximately about 18 dollars what will this company be when they start to get adoption they start to get sales and they literally like yoav stern has said have a hundred thousand dragonfly machines 
printing for different industries. With the PCB market alone being about $75 billion predicted to be by, I think it was 2027, and the market cap of this company at $1.59 billion, with $1.4 billion cash on hand. With all this cash, with the right people in place and the right team, will they be able to secure these sales after the pandemic? And will the Dragonfly LDM take them to newfound heights? Will it take them to Nirvana? I've actually got a picture here of the old model. This one was from 2019. I think they also stated on their roadmap that they're going to have a new model with higher throughput. And also this model is going to be working on a neural network. That's what they're building and that's what they're looking towards. When they acquired this company Deep Cube and they brought Eli David onto their board. This whole acquisition was to work and drive towards Industry 4.0 and its revolution in additive manufacturing and electronics. Institutional ownership, 189 institutional owners, 170 long, only one short. And if we scrolly scrolly down, we can see that a lot of people have an average price of $8.40. They own millions of shares of Nano Dimension. BlackRock, you can see here on the 11th of August, they increased their share ownership by 919% of Nano Dimension. They have 4.5 million shares at a cost average of $8.41. So Nano Dimension went all the way down to $5.39. I think that was the lowest we've seen in the last month or so. Is it a steal at this price? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know your predictions and your thoughts in the future. And I hope you found this video very entertaining and useful. I've been buying Nano Dimension. I've been accumulating throughout the weeks. So I've been building out as much as I can because I believe in it long term alongside Bingo, alongside Palantir. So let me know what else is in your portfolio for longs. I want to see long term investors come in and tell me what is in your portfolio. What are you most bullish about in there? And tell me the reasons why. If you're able to support the channel, please click the join button above my head. I'm about to end the video. If you'd like to send me a donation for my birthday, send me some blueberry pie, baby. You can click the PayPal link just in my description box below and send any amount. I'm super grateful for your donations and it really helps support the channel. But if you're unable to, just you hitting like and can subscribe on this video and dropping me a comment means the world to me. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Always remember this is for entertainment only. Mr. Invest a lot over and out, baby.